What up? Coming at you with a genuine, legitimate tutorial on avocado and toast. Many things involve a bit of preparation. You're gonna wanna uh, salt, put that uh, avocado in a salt bed, wrap it up in some biodegradable Glad wrap, and just let that sort of pasteurize, like I said, for a few, a few hours. But obviously, being this is a, a, a cooking show, there's one I prepared earlier over here, so I'll just go grab that. So I did this one like a couple days ago, so this will be well and truly ready. Yeah, exactly what we're after. And obviously the main basis of the avocado and toast is avocado and toast. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to get my hands on a toaster, but I got my hands on a toasty. Plug that bad boy in. Two of the finest loaves, uh, slices from the loaf I was able to get. Um, so possibly a bit too early to actually put that in. So we'll just let that aside for a second and get to work on the avocado. Obviously, If you don't know, avocados have a big old seed in them. The perfect avocado. We hit the nail on the head there. Make sure you leave the seed in there because that keeps it fresh. But just for the heck of it, I'm gonna show you a seed removal tutorial. Just wanna grab the sharpest knife you got, line it up and just, you've lodged it in there, twist to the wrist and there you have it. Now we've got to this stage where the avocado is ready to get primed up. I'm a bit hesitant to put the toast in just yet because that's one mistake you can you can make too many times. Toast too early and then you've just the whole show's just messed up. Just gonna want to. First of all, if you're smashing avo in a bowl, then that's just incorrect. Couple verticals, couple horizontals. Chuck a few diagonals in there. Just chop it up nicely. And now I've worked that to about 60%. Gonna go ahead and chuck that toast on. Obviously we, we salted the skin, you know, we let that rest for a few, da few days, but it's time to just reactivate that process. Get a bit more vertical chops on that. Smelling and looking great. Lemon juice. Now this just gives it that like bit of tingle and a bit of fresh vibes. Just seems to do wonders. You want about like half a teaspoon, you, maybe a teaspoon. Oh, yeah. Oh. Toast is coming along nicely. Now, the last addition to the Avo is like just the, the slightest dollop of mayonnaise. Oh, we're oozing. Why is it, why is it just coming out? But stop coming out. It's just bloody squirting everywhere. So we'll just go a little dollop about that. You wanna spread that over the top and then a little bit of sweet mayo with like that creamy texture just does it. It just gets it done. There we have it, that, that is basically ready to go. And I'm gonna go ahead and say that toast is done. The perfect golden brown that we're after. Don't be afraid to go too heavy on the marge, you know, you only live once. Time to apply the avo, and that will just about wrap it up. Just don't be too forceful with it. You go mishmashing it around and you just sort of kill the vibe, you know? This uh, toasting method has sort of squished it a bit, so don't recommend that. Definitely worth getting a real toaster. Mm. Yes, I'm gonna enjoy this. And while I'm enjoying this, why don't you enjoy watching another one of my videos. That's it.